My name is Lex Sharaklaji Bishop Kenya Michael Oltome speaking in Kenya Republic, Nairobi National Government, Ampakasi East Constituency, uh, actually here in Ampakasi Village. What? Why am I referred as a lecturer at Laji? Simply because I've taught so many colleges, particularly Africa Inland Church, Beset Bible College, Narok County Government, Covenant College of Mission International, the same county government, Narok. And then I've also taught, uh, you know, government, uh, an official force equivalent to Kenya Army called Paramilitary General Service Unit as a civilian spiritual affairs instructor for 12 years. That is 2004. Uh, to 2016. So that is me and uh, I'm also coaching some students here in uh, Nairobi, national government, from various uh, universities here. And I was also pastor, uh, is, uh, I was also the pastor of uh, President Moe during his tenure term in office. He's uh, the second president of Kenya, one of the best of the best. I was his uh, spiritual affairs instructor, uh, you know, uh, pastor. Uh, that is actually an advisor in that case. Uh, it is a church called AIC, African and Church uh, Kabartonjo, uh, Baringo County Government for some years. That is, I went there internship in 1999 and I was observed to be a pastor full time 2002. The president's uh, sister was actually uh, the chair lady of uh, that church, which was built by President Moy, uh, His Excellency, for his own money, for his own money, pocket money, 40 million, and the charge is measuring 200 feet by 60 feet and a straw building, all right, uh, with a media house uh, at the peak. So the charge is called uh, AIC, African and Charge, but it belongs to the president. The president is the one who is having the title D, his family. Today, um, I want to speak about actually fear. Fear is very common in the whole world. And it's one of the human emotions that um, we can not uh, be able to avoid. And I said on several occasions, uh, I, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, uh, one of the distinguished uh, priests, I fear, I fear God, but I used to respect human beings. Or in other words, I respect all human beings, but I fear none, none completely, including even the head of state, His Excellency, Dr. William Samarito. I do respect him, but I don't fear him. So, uh, fear is there. We are told there was a time even a prophet of fire, a man who have even resurrected a child which, which, was, uh, which has died, uh, of a widow of Sarabat. The prophet of, uh, call, uh, of Israel, a prophet of, of fire, which has even uh, called fire from heaven, and it has cleared so many Baal prophets, false prophets, about over five, 450. Uh, actually, we are told he fled to Horeb in fear of a woman, a woman which was actually called Jezebel. And I want to read actually First Kings chapter 19, verse 1, 2, 3. Elijah flees to Horeb. Now Ahab, uh, King Ahab told Jezebel, his wife, everything Elijah had done, and now he had killed all the prophets with a sword. That is actually the prophet which uh, belonged to the wife of the king uh, Ahab, uh, wife, all right, uh, Jezebel priest from his own tribe, uh, okay, has been uh, all cleared by the prophet. When they fell, the test of, you know, when the, they decided to, to test God, in a way of prayer, and then uh, it was Elijah which uh, actually succeeded by burning uh, a kind of a bowl, but the rest uh, uh, fell in that case, about 450. So we are told Jezebel uh, was told by uh, the king, which was actually his, uh, his husband, a husband, a husband, a husband of, uh, uh, you know, Jezebel, Okay, so uh, now I have King Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah has done, that he has cleared all his tribe, uh, false prophets, and he killed all the prophets with a sword. So Jezebel sent a message to Elijah to say, the wife of uh, King Ahab sent a message to say that may, go, may the gods deal with me. In a small letters, gods, because they have been worshiping so many gods. All right, 
Be it ever so severely, if uh, by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. In uh, closing and opening, uh, closing, opening and closing in further commas. We are told in first three in that case, first Kings chapter 19, first three, Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to uh, Bethsheba in Judah, he left his servant, uh, he left his servant there. Well, himself went away a day journey into a desert. He came to a broom tree, sat down under and prayed that might he might die. Opening and closing in verse comma, he said, "I had enough, Lord." He said, "Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors." One of the human emotions is actually fear. We need to avoid fear in Kenya nowadays. I'm reading from you know International Version Bible, Zondervan. All right. Uh, actually, this Bible is from United States of America. New International Version, Sonoban Publishing House, Grand Rapids, Michigan, United States of America. Where we are told actually in Proverbs 2, chapter 2, verse 6, For the Lord give wisdom and promise mouth to come knowledge and understanding. That's why we are reading this book. New International Version, you can see it here. If you, have, if you want to order one, I've said actually where is the source of the book. You can get it, the Holy Book, from U.S. So fear is there, all right? Even uh, uh, godly people like prophets like me can get fear. And also Joshua was told in uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, he was, uh, also, he was also commanded by, you know, uh, he uh, the person he succeeded, advised him to be brave and courageous uh, in Joshua 1 9. So, uh, actually, uh, even uh, presidents need to tell others when they are leaving offices, particularly, they need to encourage them uh, about fear, to not to fear uh, things. And also, citizens are not to fear things. Eh? Like now, Kenya economy is making Kenyans to fear a lot. All right? It is actually fearing a lot. Many Kenyans are fearing a lot. And that's why I said, actually, cowardice, examples, I can mention a few of them. Ten, even Israelite spies, except the two, became so, a few, when he was, they were sent, they, uh, they came with a report that actually we are like uh, grasshoppers in Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. They went and, see, uh, and uh, saw the enemies, and they, the report they took back to Israelite, they said we are like grasshoppers, all right? fear of human beings. Military men were of Israel sent and uh, only few of them we are told gave a report without any fear but the rest uh, so became so fearful men. We are told in uh, uh, Numbers uh, chapter 13 chapter 33 that uh, the, the cowardice 10 Israelite spies were also became coward. All right? And uh, in that case, eh, they, most of them gave, uh, you know, a very wrong kind of, uh, you know, message to the people uh, to discourage them that they are grasshoppers, which was not so in God's eyes. All right, they are human beings. So fear is there. And I said, I fear none human beings, but uh, I respect God and I fear God. But uh, I respect human beings, but I fear none at all. Myself, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. I told the report on the ex ex exploration by those 10 spies. Uh, if you read it at the tree, and they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land, and they explored, uh, they, explored uh, they said the land, they explored, they divorced those living in it. All the people you saw, they saw are uh, of great size. That's the tree, they, uh, in fact, they say, we saw the Nibelin, where the descendants of uh, uh, Anak come from the Netherlands, we seem to be grasshoppers in our own eyes and we look the same to them. All right? Actually, uh, uh, we are told then Caleb in chapter in first, uh, first uh, 30, silent the people before Moses and said, we should go up and possess of the land. Caleb and uh, another one also gave a good report that uh, they are not grasshoppers. We are told those Israelites before Goliath except David in 1 Samuel chapter 17, uh, verse 24, they feared uh, Philip, uh, Philistines and uh, they all ran away. 
We are told actually in 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 24, except David, which he actually faced Goliath and killed him. King David at the time of his son uh, rebellion, Absalom, also against him, we are told he also himself felt so uh, fearful man. Okay? Uh, if you read 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 14, you will get that report. And, uh, and so forth and so forth. Eh? You will see people becoming, you know, uh, in great fear. We are told even the disciples of Jesus Christ in Matthew Chapter 26, verse 50, 56, eh? there we are, see, we are seeing them also, they are having a problem, all right, or, of cowardice in that case. And even if you read even, uh, you know, John chapter 14, verse 1 and the following, to 6 thereabout, you will see Jesus even encouraged them not to be troubled in their lives eh? because of fear. Why are we fearing? We are fearing in Kenya, we have a lot of fear because uh, the, we are told uh, the country is facing a lot of crisis, eh? economic crisis. Eh? So we are not, uh, most Kenyans need encouragement, particularly this time because uh, of that kind of fear. People are fearing their lives, eh? that any time they can die of hunger, which is very true in a way, all right? Because uh, there is no uh, money in the Republic. And the president seems not, not to get him uh, resources from outside. He only goes out and, uh, you know, uh, come back with no, no money. We are told today even President Yoweri Museveni uh, is saying that he will give only Western Kenya a republic uh, fuel in a cheaper kind of prices. And they, they also, it is reported also, uh, they will not actually pass Kenya anymore. Uh, because of, uh, you know, uh, this is the message we are getting from, uh, you know, uh, de People's Daily today. Here it is. Uh, we are told actually the uh, uh, Museveni, uh, one of the uh, Museveni, is actually is reported that that is uh, is actually not going to uh, to pass uh, Kenya anymore uh, to to do his own business but he is going to favor Kenya to give them uh, petroleum in a cheaper price particularly western part of the country I don't know whether what will happen to the rest all right that is what we are hearing today newspaper all right today newspaper which is actually uh, 16 today the president is uh, of Uganda has said so Particularly, Uganda MPs fought to end oil importation through Kenya. It is here. It is written here. You can see it here. All right. Okay. It is written here. It is written here. Okay. It is written here. Okay. Uganda MPs. Uganda MPs. Eh? You can see here. Okay. So they are saying Uganda MPs fought to end oil importation, importation through Kenya. Meaning then that case Uganda Parliament has passed a bill granting state-owned oil Uganda National Oil Company, they call it UNOC, exclusive authority to import all petroleum products. All right? If uh, approved by the President Yori Museveni, the bill will end Uganda uh, decades Long reliance on Kenya companies for oil imports. All right, we are wondering why Kenya is having actually oil, petroleum oil, in Turkana County government, but uh, the prices of goods are fluctuating day and night. So Kenyans have a right to fear because of uh, economic stock market crashing down. I'm also a political preacher. All right, to end this matter of uh, you know fear which of course is there but we need to moderate it in kenya otherwise the truth of the matter people are dying already even in these villages like now i'm speaking in my house which was built by british government 1956 all right and it's still intact up to today i am not paying any money i've already taken it i told i, I went to County Council, I told them this is my house. Right? Uh, the Kenya government have not paid me when I was teaching paramilitary general service unit for 12 years as a civilian frontier. 
teaching them about systematic theology and also Islamic studies, which of course I know it, eh? All right. And uh, both books, I are sacred books, and I honor both of the books, and all prophets, including Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and others, like Jeremiah and Isaiah, uh, uh, you know, uh, Isaiah and others, major and minor prophet. So, uh, fear is there, and it's not exactly what people are supposed to fear in Kenya. People are dying all over the country. Yes, because of hunger. I'm speaking in Mbaka's village, Mbaka's East Coast, the other day, actually, one of the leaders came across and uh, came around, even to my house, right? Honorable Nyatika. He is going around, actually. He's doing a very commendable job. He has an office here. All right? He told me even uh, when he came and he saw that we don't have even a, a, you know, a toilet here. He was wondering. We are moving from a distance to go even for a toilet. We don't have a toilet around here. Yeah? Uh, the toilet we had, the government, the previous government have destroyed it and left it like that. But we refused them to destroy British houses and uh, we told them we cannot pay anymore. Because, except if British government wants us to pay them. Otherwise, Kenya government, this is not Kenya government houses we are living. And we are, uh, we are about about 250,000, you know, uh, uh, these uh, poor vagabonds, human beings living, including myself, President Jasperant. I am a President Jasperant last year. Uh, Jubilee, but I was not, I was stopped by President Ruth, uh, Uru, His Excellency Uru Mege Kenyatta, not to go on a party primary together with the head of, head of set today, uh, Dr. William Somarito, and also to become a, pre, uh, a vice president of another independent party, and another president called, uh, uh, you know, Brigadier Gugubo, His Excellency, who was, who was fired in 2007 but not to succeed, uh, nearly to win election to defeat even the the head of state of that time, His Excellency, uh, the late uh, President Mwake Baki, His Excellency. So, uh, this time now he has given me an okay to the president come 2007 or even prior to that because now this government is, uh, is, uh, has broke. So, I'm looking to be a president of Kenya Republic come 2007 elections and my first president will be Brigadier Gugubo, His Excellency, God willing. And I'm also willing to marry uh, East Africa Legislative Assembly Member of Parliament, Honorable Winnie Imgad Raila, the, daughter, the youngest daughter of uh, Supreme uh, Powers uh, People's President, His Excellency Honorable Raila Amolodinga, anytime to assist me in politics, to be the first lady, uh, come uh, 2007 or even period to that time. And uh, no objection, I was from the office of uh, the Supreme. People's Power President yesterday at Capitol Hill, and uh, nobody's objecting what I'm saying. Uh, they have uh, told me if you wish, you can marry at your own accord, and uh, I'm a Samburu Masai priest. In that case, I will marry traditionally at his, uh, his father's home here in Karen, uh, or at the favorable place from the, the mouth of the uh, Supreme Power President of Kenya, His Excellency Raila Molo Dinga. So remember that I'm, uh, I'm actually incoming president, God willing, period 2027, August 9, 2027, elections, or even during that time, depending on uh, how this president is going to improve elect, uh, his, uh, you know, welfare to Kenyans. Otherwise, human beings now, there is a high cost of living. Fuel is uh, not actually functioning in Kenya. Uh, we don't know where our oil is going, the petroleum we have in Turkana land. We don't know. That's why people are fearing with their lives. Uganda is now is uh, opting not to pass Kenya because of insecurity, probably. So uh, that is actually the nature of the country. And so all human beings are ravaged with a kind of a fear, including even priests. I used to, I am a teacher in theology, and I interact with many churches. They are all talking the same. Like uh, some of them have now even have fled Nairobi to go to the rural areas. They are fearing Nairobi. So to conclude this matter, I concur with the Asimio uh, Party President, a uh, Supreme uh, Power People's President, or in other words, Supreme People's Power President of Kenya, is actually Israel Molodinga. Because now he is now the whole group is rejecting, is uh, people who are mediating this kind of a uh, fake kind of a uh, negotiation, uh, uh, you know, uh, which, has, which, has, which is meaningless. All right, they are now rejecting. I just want him to go on, uh, on, on uh, to tell Kenyans, uh, all Kenyans, to go on, on the streets and we are for him. We will support him 100%. And uh, 
If he will succeed, he will be the president, the sixth president, even period 27. I'm even myself willing, as a chairman of Kamatusa plus Luo Tribe Naloti Group, to support him. All right? All the youth, all the adults, all the elderly, everyone, even children, we are willing to support His Excellency Israel Molo Dinga to be the sixth president, period 27. Or otherwise, he will give me a chance, uh, together with our daughter, the youngest daughter, to bring this uh, president down, His Excellency Dr. William Samaritan, 2027, in that case. Because we will, we will unseat him before even 9 a.m. Uh, on August 9, 2027, honestly speaking. All right? So actually, if, uh, the, pres if uh, the president cannot allow, uh, uh, you know, uh, the negotiation to go on, by rejecting all what the uh, this people's people's power, people's uh, you know supreme people's power president is actually Raila Odinga demands, yeah, he, he need to resign. Our doctor, uh, our president, Doctor William Samuel Ruto, need to resign honorably. I went to Kenyatta International Con Convention Center yesterday. It's a very nice. They have renovated it very nice. I went even to the president office, executive office. Okay, at the same uh, Arambe, that's Arambe, you know, a house. Eh? The president was not there, and I went several times, you know, I've also left a, a peace book there. I want to follow up to say uh, whether the president is going to give us Kamatusa, what we demanded. We demanded the Kenya shilling 350 million for peace initiative to disarm ourselves, those tribes, which are the Kalenjins, Mazai, Turkana, Samburu, Brasluo. We are ready to disarm ourselves if we are given money, okay? to preach a peace, uh, you know, in contextualization, uh, uh, using the Bible, uh, to tell people uh, the, the impact of war, uh, and to give them flyers, hats, shirts, or even, uh, uh, you know, sheets, you know, clothing, because most of them don't even put on no shirts, but they, they are refusing. The president is refusing, okay? His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto is refusing. To agree us to, to give us money. 350 million is just a peanut to him. He is wasting money to go and help God in planting trees. He was not even to, to stumble and he hurt himself like uh, he was there in the Bible. In 2 uh, Samuel chapter 6, verse seven, 6 and 7. He was killed by God by helping God, by holding the covenant, the, you know, uh, act without permission from God. I told the president even prior to that, don't help God to plant it. He did it. And he was nearly to get into problem. Eh? I'm a prophet in nature. All right? So actually, what do I want to say to conclude this matter? The president needs to give us this money. I've written to, uh, I've written even to National Coalition Integration, uh, Reverend Copia, to give us money. Because the, the money are not used to them. And uh, they are just giving the money to office. Reverend Copia, I've given him a copy. Okay. They are just telling me, wait, 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 they are not giving us 350 million shillings. Kamatusa, and I am at the chairman of Kamatusa. Eh? I want to actually to mediate peace, but they are not ready for it. Okay? So remember that these people don't want peace. Completely. The president, His Excellency Dr. William Samaru, don't want peace. He doesn't care even though 20 people are alive in Kenya, so long as his family is all right. Eh? And some of his, you know, crooks, uh, politician units, leaders, and administrators and members, you know, uh, you know, ministers, they call it the cabinet secretaries. All right, they just want to continue eating our money and fly, you know, using our money to and getting allowances to plant the trees when people are dying. That's what they want. So, I want the Kenyan to know that I've written to the president, all right, of this, and I went yesterday. They told me to follow by information to and get D. At the state house, I don't know why why I should go to get the state house to get actually the feedback when I actually they are not giving me the feedback at the Arambe house, executive office of the president. Is they are not giving me the feedback? I went yesterday. All right, and all these politicians are not in offices, all of them, including senators, members of parliament, you know, and uh, call them. They are not there. I went yesterday, and uh, also the soldiers are disturbing people, particularly Kalinjins. They are refusing people even to go in. I told them, why are you alive? One of them was very rude. But we have empowered him. We told him, no, this is a public office. We have to enter everybody. And we went in, but there was no politicians. He was trying to come of late uh, to cover them, but they are not there. None of them is there. None, none. No politician in the Kenyatta International Convention Center. 
neither in the intercontinental, which will belong to former president, they are renting. Okay? Eh? Uh, Mwai Kibaki, His Excellency, eh? the late president, they are renting there. Okay? So this is not this this President Ruto government is not a working government. It's not a working government. They are not working. They are just eating our taxpayers' money and wasting them in like serious kind of behaviors. So the president need to resign. And uh, finally, I want actually to urge actually the president to, to believe to the Supreme People's Power President to stage a demonstration even tomorrow. All right? Even tomorrow we are we are we are there to help him. So that you can actually save us before the 2007 election. Otherwise, may God bless you, human being, living in Kenya and beyond. Amen.